today we're looking at lead code 199 binary tree right side view this is a continuation of our level order traversal series in this playlist and we are going to be using the same template the same pattern to solve this as we use to solve the other problems that deal with level order traversal in this playlist that's including binary tree level order, order traversal one and two n airy tree level order traversal and a zigzag level order traversal. So we're just gonna make a slight modification and we're gonna use the same pattern to solve this one as well. Uh, okay, so what we have here is we have a binary tree. We're given the root and we want to imagine ourselves standing on the right side of it and return those values of those nodes so they can be ordered from top to bottom. So here we have a tree, we wanna return one, three, and four because they are all on the right side of the tree. And our nodes are gonna be zero to 100 and the values are minus 100 to 100. Okay, so what we wanna do here is, if this is our tree, we wanna have two while loops and then we wanna use a queue data structure, okay? And what we're gonna do is we have this queue data structure, we're gonna initialize it with the root, okay? And we're gonna also initialize a result and set it to an empty array. And now we have two while loops here, okay? We have an outer while loop that as long as the queue is not empty, we keep on running this loop, and an inner while loop that we want to get the length of the queue at that moment in time, okay? So uh, let me just kind of step through that. Here we have the queue, it's at one, it's not empty. At this point, we can see that the value in the queue is at the zeroth level. Okay, this is zero, one, two. The value at the, the queue at this point in time is one, which is the value at the zeroth level. So when we get to this point, we're gonna save the length of this, of the queue at this point, which is uh, one. And then we are going to take the last element in the queue. Okay, at this point, it's one. So we're just gonna go ahead and push this one into the queue. Now we are going to go into our inner loop and we're gonna run it length times, okay? So we'll decrement it when we're inside of there. And what we wanna do is pull, pull out this one, so we shift it off and we put its children back into the queue. So we check if there's a left, there is. We go ahead and uh, push that two into the queue. We check if there's a right on the one node, there is. It's three, we push that into the queue. And we only did it on one iteration, so we break out of that while loop, that inner while loop, and now we're back on the outer while loop. And you can see now, the queue has the correct values for that first level. And so all we're gonna do is take the last value here, this three, whatever's the last element in the queue, and push that into the result. So here we have uh, three, that gets pushed into the result. Then again, we do the same thing. We save the, the length of the queue at that moment into this len variable, which is going to be two. And now we go into our inner loop and we're gonna run it twice, okay? First time we run it, we're gonna shift off this two and it does have a child, it has a five. So we go ahead and push this five into, uh, into our queue and we decrement this, this length here to one. And then we go ahead and shift off this three and we go ahead and put that into the queue, or we put the children of that into the queue, which is four, okay? And then this length will turn zero and we'll break out of this uh, inner while loop. Now you can see that the queue at this point, when we get back into the outer while loop, has the correct values for that level and we just wanna get the last one. We just wanna get this four, push that into the result and that is our answer. And again, we'll just do one more iteration just to kind of go over this. Uh, the length here will be two. And then we go into the inner while loop. We um, shift off this five node. We check for any children, there's no children. We shift off this four node, there's no children. At the same time, this decrements down to zero. We break out of this inner loop. And now there's nothing in our queue, it's empty. Okay, the queue is empty. And so we break out of this outer loop and then we go ahead and return that result. Okay, so that's the idea behind this. Now, what is our time and space complexity? I know there's two while loops, so it's, it's tempting to think that we're doing this in quadratic time, 
but you have to think about how many times are we hitting these nodes okay how many times are we are we traversing through these nodes and we're only traversing through them once because even though we have two loops this second loop is just running level by level it's not running through the whole entire tree and so our time complexity here is actually o of n it's just linear time because we're just hitting all these nodes once and then what about what about our space complexity well it, it's not linear. Normally in the other uh, videos it's linear because we're saving the entire level. Here we're just saving the values on, on, uh, on the height of the tree. Okay, so just on the, on the right side of the tree we're just saving those values. And so the, uh, the um, space complexity is going to be O of H which is the height of the tree. And if it's balanced then it would actually be log N but we don't have a guarantee that the input is a balanced binary tree. If it was a balanced binary tree, then we would have a space complexity of log, uh, log n. But uh, in this case, we'll, we can just say the, the space complexity is the height of the tree because we're just going to get the, the rightmost values, which is just going to be the height of that tree, the right height of the tree. Okay, so let's jump into the code. Um, the first thing we want to do is uh, just go ahead and whoops we don't want to do that okay let's see what's going on here okay okay so first we want to take care of the edge case if the root is empty then we just want to return an empty array okay and now what we want to do is go ahead and initialize our queue and place our root inside there. Go ahead and initialize our result, set it to an empty array, and then we just want to do while the queue is not empty, we want to save the len. Okay, and then we want to push into the result the last element in our queue. Okay, so we can do result.push Q, uh, sorry, Q at Q dot length minus one. And then here we just want to do a dot val because this is asking for the values, not the nodes. Okay, but in the queue we're actually saving the nodes. All right, and so now what we do is we do a while len minus minus. All this is going to do is decrement len until it gets to zero. It'll coerce to a falsy value and break out of that while loop. We want to shift off the node. Okay, and now we just want to uh, put the children into the uh, into the queue. So if there is a left child, we can just do a queue dot push node dot left. And if there's a right child, we can do queue dot push node dot right. And then we just want to return our result. Okay, and that's it. Let's go ahead and run this, make sure everything works, and we're good. This is Leet Code number 199, Binary Tree, Right Side View. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you on the next one.